Good evening, everybody. Tomorrow night, high school football playoff action. Macon will host Centralia. Both teams have great defenses. That's why Macon has been concentrating on the little things on offense. Well, it comes down to execution. We've got to do a better job up front, without a doubt. Um, you know, but we also have to do a better job of carrying out fakes, of hitting the hole. You know, everything at, against a defense like Centralia, everything has to be perfect almost for you to have success. In college football, Truman State heads to Indiana Saturday to face St. Joseph's, a team that has given up 249 yards a game through the air. We need to throw it and catch it a little bit better, particularly against man-to-man -man coverage, and they're going to give us that opportunity. Iowa State will be home tonight to face 14th-ranked Oklahoma. The Cyclones will wear patches on their helmets to honor the two police officers that were killed earlier this week. In high school basketball, things are getting better at Schuyler County thanks to the players who have bought into the concept of blue-collar basketball and unselfish play. We got three guys that uh, played significant minutes last year, three starters returning. We got a few, a few young guys going to have to step in and fill some spots, but I think they're capable of doing it. Um, practice has been good the first three days, and if we continue, uh, we're on the right path. New Brashear girls basketball coach Chris Pruitt has returned to the area, and he can't wait to get started. Glad to be back in the conference. I, I missed it while I was gone, and it's a really good conference, really good coaches, so it's just fun to be a part of it. The annual Kirksville Spaghetti Dinner and Basketball Scrimmage is next Thursday. It's only $5 for the food and a bottle of Gatorade gets you in the door for the scrimmage. It all begins at 5.30. In college basketball, Indian Hills will be home tonight against Carl Sandberg starting at 7. The pictures will fly through the air at 10. The Cubs won the World Series last night. One guy who is really happy is Schuyler County Principal Kyle Windy. He is a long-suffering Cub fan in Cardinal country. He was happy. It was intense. I feel emotionally drained. Uh, you know, you think you're up, you're going to win it, and then you think maybe the curse is actually real. So, uh, you know, when they tied it up in the eighth inning, I thought, oh, here we go again. But uh, they managed to pull through, and it was great for uh, Cubs Nation. It's special if you run in the state cross-country meet once, but Saturday, La Plata's Cammie Feinberg will be making her fourth appearance. Hopefully this year with all my training and the last three years, I'll finally be where I want to be, which is the top 25. We're excited to see her get one more shot at it. Um, we're hoping this time we can bring home some hardware. Teresa is up next with final weather. Stay with us.